What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Salah Mike here with Third Street Barbell, and we want to give you a full tour of our facility. It's been a couple years now, so come on inside and check out all our updates. So we've been open now a little bit over three years. There's been a lot of changes, upgrades, and we're constantly changing the flow to make sure it works best for our members and our guests. Once you walk in the front door, we want a welcoming environment. Although the gym is more of an old school, hardcore vibe, we want to be that bridge um, for some folks to step into a facility where they're really trying to get better. A lot of gyms on the planet, these commercial gyms are just made to take your money, hope you don't actually show up, but we want you to show up. We want you to enjoy the equipment and actually get better in your life. So first we just have our clothing company, a good company, apparel3sb.co. open store for anybody. All our newest drops are always available in person. We're super lucky you might've seen the parking lot. We probably have a 30 spot parking lot, conveniently located downtown Sacramento, right by the Capitol or about half a mile from the Capitol at the intersection of Highway 50 and Highway 5. Um, after the store, I'll right into our front desk. We always have a nice warm welcoming face. We wanna make sure you know, we have genuine people here that like the gym, that know about the gym, that are knowledgeable, that can show you around, um, or just answer any of your questions as you come in. Kind of the typical stuff, hand built by the way, built this thing my freaking self, not the stools, although I probably could. Uh, me, Kyle, a shout out to Uncle Mike. We put this thing together, um, kind of to fit the motif, another thing that inspired me through this entire journey. And I'm not like a, you know, quote unquote Disney adult, but I do like theme parks and I really like uh, art direction in restaurants and stores and especially the streetwear world. They'd really make it an experience um, and make sure everything is cohesive, the continuity top to bottom branding. And so that's something we really want to put into the facility that the vibe is downtown Sacramento um, and everything kind of matches and makes you feel a way. Um, at least comfortable, strikes an opinion, strikes a thought, um, but it's all very cohesive. Easy little vending machines and upgrade. We had a fridge, but we wanna make sure that things not only stay cool, but they're convenient for you to grab. We are a 24 seven facility. So we have memberships available that you can train any day, all days. Um, kind of the typical stuff, a little bit of carbs in there, a couple snacks, protein snacks, energy drinks, kind of the typical stuff. Another rack of our clothes. This just tends to be kind of our leftovers. Everything we make is like small batch. So um, miscellaneous sizes and things, most of our stuff does sell out, but these will be the items that maybe there's only one size left or even one piece kind of on this rack, but um, a nice collection of kind of everything we've gone over through. So our gym's kind of split up into two different rooms. This was an old automotive building in like the 80s, I believe. Um, and so what we decided to distribute the pieces, kind of an accessory bodybuilding hypertrophy side, a little bit more machine based, and then kind of our main floor, which is all free weights, barbells, um, competition platforms, et cetera, et cetera. So these pieces were kind of the staples I wanted to get in the very, very beginning. You're good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is kind of where we want to start. So my idea, again, is kind of bridge the gap between a hardcore old school style gym, which I grew up in um, training even for, as a basketball player growing up. I was in a bodybuilding hardcore facility. And then after that, I moved on to multiple uh, powerlifting gyms. But I want people to be less intimidated. And I want them to be able to enjoy the facility, even if they're not the most experienced lifter. So we bought equipment that I think is not only sturdy, durable, et cetera, will last time, feels great, but it's super... Um, for lack of a better term, brainless. We have all these machines in a row, and if you use all our upper body machines, you're basically getting a full upper body workout. Starting with a hammer strength, incline, uh, chest press, super great piece, one of the most quality pieces ever made, and I think just a staple in any program if you're trying to chain any kind of pushing. Similar here, this is just a hammer strength pull down. It does kind of have a slight angle, but basically it replaces any kind of cable pull down you want. Three, four years old now, but still in great condition. Shout out to my team for keeping this thing clean, oiled, everything ready to rock. Next, just kind of another horizontal pull, kind of a low pull, a row if you would. A couple different handle grips. You can change the seat height if you want to target more of your upper back and traps or uh, move the seat way up and really focus in on your lats. Hammer strength shoulder press. Um, it is a big old honking piece, um, but it feels so good, so clean. You can kind of adjust your upper body, make it feel nice, really good bar path. Again, nice big grips. Everything's in super great shape. We've been really lucky with not only our members, but our team keeping these things in great quality shape. Um, more accessories, every kind of handle you could ever want. The extra sexy bicep blaster, Go America. This Sorenex cable piece is one of the, the greatest pieces we have in here, in my opinion. Um, super versatile, you can obviously train multiple movements, upper body, lower body, etc. cetera. Um, really smooth cable, really lucky to have it. 
a little Bulgarian split squat piece, again, for accessories, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe a unique piece if you've never been to a powerlifting gym, the belt squat. Um, it's a way to load your lower body, and you can do some accessories with your upper body, um, but it's basically a, a plate-loaded cable-style machine um, that's made to train the squat or lunge without putting pressure on your upper body or your back. So you use literally a belt, wrap that around your waist, and you can hit all kinds of forms of squats, lunges. Um, you can also change the cable. A lot of people will put a row piece or a hand grip, and you can do RDLs, rows, face pulls, etc. cetera. Load it up here, um, safety locks, very adjustable, great, great, great piece, super versatile. Full kitted dumbbell set, um, all our plates, all our sets, I like them matching. Um, you know, I grew up in, again, a hardcore old school gym where things were just thrown together and having dumbbells that don't match, either the individual pairs don't match or the whole piece is just kind of a pet peeve of mine. So we have this great UMAX set all the way up to hundreds, 2.5 increments up to 50s, um, kind of everything you would need. A couple adjustable benches by Sorenex. Preacher Curl, Watson from the UK, Pendulum Squat, which I think is one of the most rare and one of the best innovations or newest machines within the last 10 years in the game. There's not always a lot of innovation in fitness um, because the basics do work. Um, but the, the construction of this, the angle of this, um, the ability to hit your lower body without loading up like crazy, without you, extra excess pressure on your back or upper body, um, I think one of the best hypertrophy lower body movements in the game. Um, adjustable four, uh, foot pad, so you can change the angle for your uh, Achilles, calves, ankle uh, mobility issues. Um, safety here, easy handlebar. Load the weights here. Extra safety in case you really go to failure and you're trying to be a crazy man and be thrown up on your way out from the leg day. Cable attachment, which I will use later today, actually. Um, you can just throw a cable right here on the pin, throw it up here, load the weight. And again, it's something that you don't have to load crazy. You know, two, three plates is a very, very strong human to be slamming this thing around. But um, I think we're really lucky to have this piece uh, as a great accessory for both building muscle and any power lifter that wants to take a little pressure off their back. Kind of your standard squat press, leg press, same idea, super adjustable back. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces to use, single leg. Uh, you can throw your off foot here while you're pressing with this top foot. Um, load her up, kind of replaces any kind of leg movement you want or Bulgarian. Last but not least from the Watson equipment, uh, a hip thrust. Obviously hip thrust has gotten a lot of popularity for glowing the booty and we know the dumpies needed both in strength and aesthetics. Uh, but honestly, a free weight thrust is just very uncomfortable. It's really hard to set up. If you got bigger quads to roll that thing into place, it just totally sucks. Uh, I think most exercises, the free weight version is equal, if not better in a lot of cases. Um, but if I had to choose one exercise that I would erase from the free weights and only do machine, it probably would be the hip thrust. This belt makes it just so much more comfortable, so much more convenient. Obviously being in a uh, machine form, you can load it so easily. It's much easier to load something like this than get a deadlift jack and load up a hip thrust on a barbell. Again, plus getting in place. Adjustable foot pad. Um, makes it super convenient with different heights, different angles of your shin, which may hit your glutes or ham slightly different. Overall, really, really great piece. Uh, band attachments <clears throat> in the back here to change the strength curve a little bit if you're really trying to squeeze that top, that hip extension. Um, great, great piece, lucky to have it. Last but not least, our newest cable machine, Bells of Steel, uh, kind of like a functional trainer, right? They just move it a little bit closer, but super smooth, up to 160 pounds, dual, dual pulleys, um, but a great piece because, again, if you're trying to build your arms, bodybuilding, or accessories after a powerlifting movement, just to have four cable stations, I think we're really lucky that people can um, all get in where they fit in and get all your work done that you needed. I'm trying to be the bridge or um, the most capable gym that is kind of an old school, hardcore style, louder music, um, a little bit tougher environment, but it's a place and an environment and a culture and a community that allow you to really reach your goals. I wanna make sure all the pieces are in place that you can reach no matter what your goal is. So we have a smallish but highly functional cardio section. Um, two treadmills, both commercial grade. You can do sprints, walks, jogs, et cetera, especially if you're a powerlifter and you really wanna warm up, get some blood flowing and train your heart. Great pieces. This is my favorite elliptical of all time. It's self-powered. But you can change the incline, change the resistance. Feels really, really smooth like you're ice skating or something, uh, but a great way to warm up your legs and really train your heart. 
Old school powerlifting equipment, if you don't know, reverse hyper invented by Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell. Um, it's a way to train your lower back and glutes, um, but you're leading with your hips. It's not an upper body movement. A lot of things you're training, a good morning, um, hip extensions, RDLs, all these things, you're hinging at the hips still, but you're moving your upper body. This one plants and stabilizes your upper body and you're swinging in kind of a pendulum style, your lower body. Um, some really love it for low back pain. I think it's a great movement to build up those glutes and low back. Um, the distraction and, and some things with the spine, some people find a lot of relief in it. I personally don't, but it is a great piece, very versatile um, and very unique to kind of this style gym. My two favorite cardio pieces in general, the assault bikes, uh, very difficult, great for sprints, warm up, add a little bit of resistance, kind of pushes back at you. They're all both self-propelled. So the harder you push, the more it pushes back at you. Uh, something you can do year round to either warm up again or train your heart. Row machine. The last couple pieces from the lower body machines lie on this side. So we have a hammer strength leg extension plate loaded, very old school machine, but gets the job done. Again, you can add bands to basically any of these machines with pegs. You wrap it around the machine itself, add it on the peg, just to train, change up that strength curve itself. Um, but this is something, again, you don't have to load like crazy and you can still really isolate and build your quads with. Leg curl, one of the last pieces of actual machinery in the gym. I think it's always great to obviously build up with compounds and work a squat, a leg press, a lunge, a Bulgarian, all that, but there's a lot of time and places where an isolation movement will help you build muscle, stay healthy, um, build some of those ligaments around. So always having a leg curl is a great option. Last, I guess, actual machine piece, the GHR. You can do back extensions. You can obviously do GHRs themselves. Very, very difficult, but big old honking, durable piece by hammer strength, pan pegs, super adjustable top and bottom for different heighted and sized folks. Getting into the meat and potatoes. Lucky enough to have a million barbells, a bunch of different power bars, both by Rogue, Aleco, TSS. A lot of different options for folks if they have a preference, but most of them are just a general power bar. That's what's used in the USAPL and a lot of different powerlifting federations. In my opinion, one of the most versatile bars in the game. Um, and I think we have upwards of 10 of them, at least enough for every rack plus some. And you'll see how many squat stations we have. We'll count them off like we're freaking Sesame Street or something. Uh, a couple deadlift bars, they've grown what seems to be out of style, but uh, some certain federations still compete with the deadlift bar. It's a little bit skinnier, a little bit longer, and a little bit whippier, allowing you to handle a little bit more weight in the deadlift. One of my personal favorite bars and what I still train deadlifts on. We got two of those Texas deadlift bars floating around. Monster, monster, sore necks rack, safety straps. Um, they also have safety pins around, um, pull-up stations everywhere, band peg stations everywhere, landmine on the side, uh, dip station attached to it as well. This is a machine or a piece of equipment that you can literally have full body workout in, build strength in every modality you want, in every angle, in every plane, um, kind of the end all be all of strength equipment, really. You, you can do anything you want here. Overhead press, squat, deadlift, bench, uh, you name it, dips, obviously, all the landmine exercises moving in different planes, but uh, great, great, great piece. Um, on top of like the specialized powerlifting equipment because we have a lot of competitive powerlifters here. Um, we have just great general pieces you can get stronger on. Talking about specialized equipment, here's our barbell rack with a bunch of barbells. A couple of these Aleco bars are a little expensive, so we just have members come get the key before they use them. We have a powerlifting and weightlifting Aleco bar. Um, a couple of just versatile bars in between. And I think that's it for that rack. Uh, moving on to specialty. So we have four half racks, which are basically the same thing as that Sornex rack. You can do anything you want in them, squat, bench, dead, these safety poles to catch you. They are drilled into the ground, one of the most stable pieces in the entire gym. Um, and often where you might see some of this specialty squat equipment. Uh, this is the Kabuki Transformer Bar, uh, which is a pretty dang innovative bar. Uh, a lot of people might have seen a bar that looks similar, where it has handles and a pad. Typically that's called a safety squat bar. Um, but this bar, and the safety squat bar, has to do with not only the pad itself and how it rests on your shoulders, um, but the angle in which the weight is in relation to uh, your midfoot and your midsection. So this bar in particular is adjustable on all angles. You can move it all the way up to the front. So when this would be loaded on your shoulders, that it's called the goblet squat, where the load itself would actually be more similar to the true goblet squat where you're holding the weight in front of you. You go one adjustment back, it moves into a front squat position, which would be laying on your shoulders, slightly closer to your midline. Uh, then a safety squat bar, which is one angle even closer to that. 
onto a high bar squat, which would emulate or be similar to having the bar higher on your traps. Um, again, all with this pad adjustment so you don't have to use your shoulders. A low bar situation where the bar would be resting on your rear delt. Um, and again, that's all in just relation to where the load is of this weight itself in relation to your midfoot and your center line, your body. Uh, and then the very last would be a hinge. So it's something where the weight would almost be near to your hips or back end, or it'd be like an RDL or a good morning type situation. Um, but a really versatile bar, either your upper body's beat up, you wanna take a rest from your upper body because you're benching, doing overhead, et cetera. Um, but really versatile. These also come in and out and changes the leverage of it. So the higher up these pins are, the easier the load would feel. Um, the further away it is, the more difficult it would feel. Um, and so you'd have to load less weight, obviously on the lower section. It's further away from the body, just makes it a little bit more difficult. Then onto our weight, wood weightlifting platforms. So uh, this bench is actually just out of place. We're actually looking to sell it if anyone wants it. Hit me up <laughs> in the email, Elite. FTS comp bench. Uh, we have two, but now we replaced it with a, a combo rack. But these wood platforms, great for deadlifts, rows, kind of any movement you want to do, lunges. Typically, obviously, the background is in weightlifting, uh, Olympic weightlifting, which is why the bumpers are over here, the snatch, the clean and jerk. Um, a little bit thicker platform than you would in powerlifting or something like that because often you'll be dropping the weight from above your head. Same reason you use a bumper. Um, it protects the floor, the platform, the lifter. Show the people what these legs do. All right, bet. Am I getting the HD footage in a few minutes? Buddy? Yeah, look at that. Bet. You gotta go now though. I'll go now. Nope, you can't choose a song. Huh? This is mental training. You don't get to choose the song. Yeah, you do. Nope. If, if you're, pro tip, if you're schizophrenic enough, you can always choose the song. Atta boy, find your pace, let's go. There you go, come on. We got four, just like that. Drive hard, drive hard. Atta boy, three. Last two, come on, make them count. Atta boy. They didn't know Patrick Swayze could squat like that. Moving on to our combo racks, we have uh, five different combo racks in the gym, three TSS, one comp bench, two rogue combos, um, all on kind of individually belt platforms. Uh, a lot of our lifters here are really getting competitive and they love the sport of powerlifting. So we try to make it as specific as possible for them. So we have carpeted rubber platforms. These racks uh, are what are used in competition, both Powerlift America, USAPL, USPA, whatever, whatever federation you compete in, um, chances are they use this piece of equipment. And the only thing that makes it that special is that it's a squat and bench combo in one. The bench slides in, fully adjustable arms, um, which is something very convenient, obviously, for competition, but I think it's something great in here because it allows uh, different members to train in with each other regardless of their height, regardless of their strength. Uh, and that's really about um, the community uh, and I think what pushes people to what allows them to get better in the gym. Kind of rounding out the strength side, the powerlifting side, the free weight side. Uh, we have three six by eight deadlift platforms. Uh, plenty of room to even fit two barbells on, on there sometimes. Sometimes you'll get someone using a deadlift bar and someone who wants a, 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 a stiff bar or just people of different weights or one warmed up earlier and you can almost roll them in front. We've done that multiple times um, and have two people using the same platform. Um, as long as you're careful taking turns, no one's gonna get hurt. So we have three of those, three half racks, Again, to round out the rest of the gym, chin-up bar, squat, overhead, bench, roll a bench over. We have free benches all over the gym with wheels that you can place in there um, and kind of get what you need going. I'm moving to the bathroom. Something I hate on the stereotypical hardcore gym is having like crappiness. There's a difference between like being hardcore or tough or whatever it might be and just being like low quality. So um, shout out to my team to make sure these places stay clean. I haven't checked it today so you guys are doing the full check with me uh, but um, we'll just show you the gentlemen's to start. Two kind of really nice sinks, stalls, kind of typical story but tile feels really clean in here. We try to add some decor to give a little bit of flavor um, and then we're lucky enough again to have three showers. So if people work downtown, uh, they have somewhere to go afterwards, it's a Friday, they're catching a workout, we have three showers both in the male and the female bathroom. Um, we got some soaps in here, et cetera, et cetera. Come in here, feel special. Um, but in my opinion, one of the better bathroom facilities 
uh, that you'll ever see in kind of a bodybuilding powerlifting style gym. Again, just a quick update and look at our facility, the things that changed both in decor and the equipment, the layout. Um, we're constantly trying to evolve what it looks like. We notice the flow and use uh, and needs of the members and try to uh, accommodate best we can. Uh, money's hard, equipment's expensive, um, but we continue to upgrade year to after year, and so I'm, I'm stoked that we're available to do that. Uh, if you're in Sacramento, California, Day Pass is available uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Memberships are available at thirdstreetbarbell.com or come on in during those same hours. Uh, we'd love to show you around, have you come train, um, and hopefully I'll catch you around myself. I got legs to hit. Appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. Subscribe. Salam alaikum out here.